Here we're going to share with you a nice technique for rebubbling at the slit lamp applicable to DALC or DMEC. Use a new paracentesis and locate your cannula, your 30 gauge cannula, on the right side of the graft, so you're tamponading beneath it. Then slide out and use the paracentesis as a valve to regulate the air fill. If you're not familiar with the concept of using a paracentesis as a valve, I'd encourage you to look back at video two in the Deconstructing Cataract Surgery series on this channel and you'll see it described in detail. But briefly in this little schematic here, if we look at the 30 gauge cannula over here, just entering the external ostium of the paracentesis and injecting into the anterior chamber, as long as you're injecting, the paracentesis will remain open. But as soon as you stop injecting, the posterior lip of the paracentesis acts like a non-return valve and prevents either gas or BSS escaping. So let's look at that again in a very nice video made by my colleague Alfonso Vasquez Perez of Moorfields. Here's the paracentesis going in. Obviously that requires a little bit of care, but it's easy to do. And then you're making sure you locate on the right side of the detached DMEC getting a nice fill and that allows free exchange of BSS, the pressure doesn't go up, but then using the paracentesis as a valve to regulate the final fill. And there we are at the end of the injection. You look back half an hour later to make sure the pressure is good and you haven't got pupil block. Obviously you have to dilate the pupil first if you haven't got a PI and that's something to bear in mind, particularly if you're rebubbling after DALC. Sit the patient outside and come back after 20 or 30 minutes to regulate the air fill. Make sure there's no pupil block. You can easily add a bit of BSS, remove a bit of air at that point to get it right using the paracentesis as a valve. And always remember to prep with povidone iodine to reduce the risk of infection. Advantages of this over a sharp needle technique are control over the percentage of gas fill and also control over the intraocular pressure. If you inject with a sharp 30 gauge needle, a lot of the gas will come straight back down the needle track as soon as you withdraw the needle and the pressure in the eye will tend to be very high straight afterwards. So there it is, a simple technique that I hope will embolden you to not be afraid of rebubbling at the slit lamp. Easy to do and very helpful if you've got a double chamber after DALC or if you've got a detachment after DMEC.